campaign is tremendous because the idea is if you can tuck it in and turn it off and take a pledge to do this, you will not only change your sleep environment, but you will change those around you. The other thing that we can do, of course, is how do we approach our bedrooms? And this is really important. Our bedrooms are a place to do two basic things, to enjoy someone else's company and to sleep. That's what bedrooms are made for. However, we've turned our bedrooms into almost family rooms. And so too many things are happening in the bedroom. The bedroom should be a very streamlined area, a very peaceful, relaxing, calming area, and an area that is conducive to you winding down, particularly after a long day. So what can you do in your bedroom? Well, this sounds cliche, but we don't wash our sheets enough, believe it or not. We should at least, at least wash our sheets at least once every six days, maybe even a little more. But we don't do that. The average person actually can wa washes their sheets once every two to three weeks when they change their sheets. So washing your sheets and keeping them clean is one important part. The other thing is something called lavender. And I don't know if you all know much about lavender, but lavender comes from, is an essential oil found in the lavender plant. It's been in use for 2,500 years. The ancient Egyptians and the Romans used lavender in their baths for cleaning, but also because it's a de-stressor. And there are several studies that have shown that lavender, whether it's through aromatherapy, through oils, or even through scent, lavender can have a very calming, relaxing effect on you. And so part of our campaign is saying, listen, soften up your, your, your bedding to make it you know, feel good at night. But also, if you do some lavender-infused bedding or use lavender-infused uh, ingredients in your wash and softeners or your static, that can make a big deal. So having lavender products can make you sleep much better. And the other thing is about anxiety and stress. You know, Look at the colors of your bedroom. Do you have a busy, you know, bedroom, is it full of bright colors or is it have, have nice calming colors? Are, are is it full of clutter where it becomes more of a storage bin or is it a place of action? So these are very simple things that we can do in the country to really change our sleep environment, which has a direct impact on our health. And people unfortunately do not make enough of a connection between how well you sleep and how productive you are. Remember, the major importance of sleep is what? Restoring, restoring. The body has to be restored. Every day we're up, we're moving, particularly in the city, you know, subways, cabs honking, noises nonstop. The body is a machine, a great machine, but it also can wear down like anything else. And the overstimulation of light and sound and noise and chaos and stress means that our body needs to restore. And the absolute best way to restore is lying down, in a semi-vegetative state and going to sleep and getting good sleep. But 41% of Americans say that they are not getting good sleep, that they're tossing and turning. And as you can imagine, if you are not getting good sleep, then the next day you are not feeling good, you're not operating at peak performance, and generally you're just not very happy. And so we're trying with this campaign to get parents and kids alike to realize that sleep is important, Good sleep can be you know, achieved by very simple measures. And I really do believe that when you look at the Sweet Dreams collection and all the things that it offers, particularly with your bedding or your wash, that those things, very inexpensive, easy fixes to getting better sleep. Okay? Thank you very much.